Hello everyone and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials. I just wanted to make this quick tutorial and this is not so much an art tutorial, it's just something that I came across that I cannot find anywhere on the internet even though it's quite simple to do. So I wanted to make a quick video about it. Now, if you have Substance Painter or Designer, what you will notice is that in the Creative Cloud app, because now that Substance is part of Adobe, it's all in Creative Cloud, you are not really able to create or to keep different versions. This can be quite annoying, especially during production. If one client requires you to use one specific version and another client requires you to use another one because of tools or because of bugs or anything like that. So for example, now I'm up to date and I am in version 8.1.2. But let's say that I want to use version 7.4.0. I just wanted to show you how that we can actually uh, keep those separate versions because it is actually really easy. You want to get started by installing the version that is the lowest. And uh, you will get probably an error like this, but don't worry, it will not remove anything. It just means that all the smart material, well, I don't think smart materials, all the templates and everything, that you, um, presets that you made in an earlier version of Painter will not work, work, sorry, I cannot speak English, in the older versions. So it is now just installing, so let me just pause the video until this is completely done. Here we go, by the magics of editing, we are already done with the installing. So now it has an older version installed. You can go over here and you can see that we have 7.4.0. Now, what you want to do is super easy. Just go to your installation folder, local disk C, for example, that's what most people have. And in my case, it's in program files and then in Adobe. And that's where I can find the folder with Painter. And it has your entire Painter program in here. Now, pretty much all that you want to do is you just want to go ahead and then give it a name. So I will say underscore 4.1.0 and then press enter and press continue. Like that. Okay, so now it has become a normal folder. Now all you need to do is just go back to the Creative Cloud. And now what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, go to updates. And you can update it to whatever version you want. I'm just going to update it all the way to the latest version. And while that is updating, what you want to do in Substance Painter 4.1.0. Here you can see that it now has created a new folder. So it will basically just have this as a standalone. You can now go in here right click, uh, you can do send to and then your desktop. So as you can see, I now have my shortcut on my desktop and I just want to make sure that I call it underscore uh, 4.0, 4.1.0 or something. I already forgot what it was. Anyway, you just want to give it the version number. And now if you open it up, it will launch substance and it will launch this version. And then later on, if when this one is done updating, you can just launch this one through your Creative Cloud app, or you can create another shortcut on your desktop, but this time give it again like a version name. It is up to you. But as you can see, if I go here, help about substance for 7.4.0. Wow, I was really far off the mark there. I don't know why. 7.4.0. And there we go. So that one will have this shortcut. And then when this one is also done, just to show you. Here we go. So now it is up to date and I can just open it in Creative Cloud. And what you will see is that this one will have the latest version. And that's basically how that you can get two versions of Substance Painter or Substance Design or pretty much any other Substance software and probably any other Adobe software also uh, simply using this technique. I do know that Photoshop actually has this technique built in. So I don't know why Substance does not have it, but here you can see 8.1.2. So for some reason, Photoshop, you can actually install multiple versions, but yeah, I don't know. For some reasons, uh, Substance software, you cannot do it. So I hope that this helped a few people. I don't expect a lot of people needing to see this, but uh, I just want to make this video to make someone's life a little bit easier. So thanks for watching, hit that like button, and I will see you next time.